Guided Meditation for Transcendence, Day 95. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is Day 95 out of 100 days of Guided Meditation for Transcendence. This is so exciting. I am so proud of us all. Let's all give us a round of applause or a pat on the back. In any case, you should celebrate this win if you have been following since day one. This is absolutely incredible. And congratulations for following through, not just for yourself, but for the people around you, as this affect uh, pretty much everybody, right? Um, for On my part, it affects my environment a lot. So congratulations for that, and let's continue on this momentum. If you are new here, then you don't have to go back to day one. You're welcome to join day 95, and then go back to day one, maybe later today or tomorrow but you can meditate with us today. You'll have the full instructions, no problem. All these meditations are done for free, and I really appreciate the donations I'm getting on Patreon. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm very grateful. And if you'd like to join this group of donations, of donors, I will link everything you need to know in the description to this video and in the show notes of the podcast, if that's where you're listening to. As always, let's start the meditation with a quote. And this quote is not from the Stoics or from ancient Greece. It is from Wim Hof. Wim Hof is known as the Iceman. I've been doing his course, actually, and I've been practicing his teachings of breathing and uh, cold, uh, cold therapy exposure. Cold exposure therapy, actually, which is basically cold showers and ice baths. So I bought myself this ice cube machine and I'm taking ice baths. And it is absolutely incredible the effects it has on me. He's won many world records. He's been swimming under ice. He went up Everest in his shorts. <laughs> yes, that's is true. You can Google it or go on YouTube and search for it. Not now, though. We're going to do our meditation. But anyway, uh, a really great guy. And I've been really enjoying not only his courses, but also I bought a book of his. And I've been really enjoying it. So... He says, the limit is not the sky, the limit is the mind. And for somebody that broke so many limits, he broke so many world records, he's been under ice for over two hours, Uh, he's done done some absolutely incredible things that you would not think are physically impossible. So I love this quote by him, the limit is not the sky, the limit is the mind. Reflect on it, ponder upon it, let me know in the comment section how this reflects to you. And how you can push your limits a little bit further doesn't mean that you have to go and uh, go some break some world record on the ice, but in your own personal life, maybe in your health or in your career, what is the limit that you're setting yourself and how can you go further by learning how to control your mind and your thoughts in general and to control our thoughts and our minds, a good exercise is meditation. So let's go to it and let's start our meditation for today. Let's start like every day by sitting nice and comfortably, either on a meditation pillow like me or directly on a chair or on the floor. I like the meditation pillow. I find it quite comfortable. It's nice and firm and I can sit nice and straight. So imagine this string pulling you up from the top of your head so that you're nice and tall, nice and proud, chin in, chest out. And let's start on some nice deep breaths in through the nose, nice and slow. And now through the mouth, releasing all the air of the balloon with a nice sigh. No effort, no action, just let the air out. Every exhalation is an opportunity to relax more and more and to release tensions in the body. Let's do it a few more times in through the nose, down from the belly, up to the chest, up to the head. And when you're full, ah, release with a nice exhale, a nice sigh. Again, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. One last time and through the nose. And on that exhalation, gently close your eyes. In a few moments, you'll be greeted with a vibration, with a sound. You will put your focus and attention on that sound as effortlessly and as gently as possible. And this sound will be on the foreground of your mind during the entirety of this meditation. Why? Because this vibration is your guide, your guide towards transcendence, your guide beyond your ego, 
your guide beyond your current state of consciousness, your guide beyond your understanding of the universe around you and within, your guide to breaking this concept of time and space so that you can eliminate the past, eliminate the future and be fully present here and now during this guided deep trance meditation that we're doing here today together. If a thought comes, don't judge yourself for thinking and don't judge the thought. Don't try to eliminate the thought and don't try to get rid of the thought. Simply go back to the vibration, putting your attention back on that vibration as effortlessly as possible and bringing that vibration back on the center stage of your interpersonal space. When the vibration fades out, reproduce it in your own mind, keeping it alive for a few moments longer.
we now let go of the vibration, the meditation session is over. Whenever you feel like it, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhalation, open your mind, open your eyes, open your eyes and your mind. <laughs> take some time now to get reacquainted with the sensations inside of your own body, starting with your extremities, with your fingers, with your toes, with your hands and feet. Take some more time to be reacquainted with the space around you, with your environment. Noticing objects, noticing what's new, what's familiar. Noticing lights, shadows, textures, shapes, colors. And I will leave you to it, um, to relax, to recuperate from this deep trance-guided meditation. This nice transcendental state that we've been experiencing today. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for meditating with us today. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. If you have, please push, press, hit, whatever you want to do with it, uh, this like button. And if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of new content coming after the challenge, so I'm excited about this too. And in the meantime, take care. Continue with your daily activities after this meditation. Don't cling on to that vibration. Really let it go. And I will see you tomorrow for another guided meditation in our 100 days meditation challenge. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.